All right, we can get. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. If there is one, if there's one game that I've been looking forward to to playing, uh, hang on, I gotta. Oh god, damn it. Oh, that's right. Hang on. Ah, oh, fuck. Should have thought of this before I hit the go live button. Man. Oh, whatever. I'll deal with it. But yeah, um, <laughs> I was, I was really really excited to stream this game because if the indication of the title wasn't enough for you this is legitimately one of my favorite games of all time like this is actually legitimately one of my favorite games of all time and it is just so fucking good to me but you know we're not here about here about all the mushy stuff. Let's get right into the game. Hopefully, it shows up. Yep, there we go. Oh my god, it actually worked. Hang on. Uh, is there no audio coming through? Let me fix that really quickly. Oh no! Wait, no. There's audio coming through. Konami, the guys who used to make good games, and now they don't. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna start a new file. Ignore that and ignore that. Those were just practice runs for, uh... for this stream. But, yeah, I was really looking forward to this game because... Oh my god. I'll just explain as we go on. Journey back to 1792 in the Transylvania countryside of Romania. I think that's what it said. You love those, you love those 90s PS1 polygonal graphics. This is actually pretty hype for the time. Uh, and here we go. All right, so first things first, I just want to point out that this should not be called Bloodlines. It should be called Rondo of Blood, but, uh, you know, somebody at the localization team probably got the two mixed up, so, you know, I'm not going to hold it against them. Also, this is a horribly inaccurate retelling of Rondo of Blood's finale because Richter has this hella, has this hella slide. He can jump and control his midair momentum, and he can even do the whip dangly thing from Super Castlevania 4. What is this? No, this is not how the... Uh, this is not how the finale of... Of, of Rondo of Blood went. Anyways, here's some good voice acting. belong in this world. It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Anyways, I'm going to make Dracula here my bitch. Because, uh, watch this. Oh my god, just look at how quickly that health bar melts. By the way, this is a completely unlosable battle. Like, you are literally unable to lose this fight. Even if you are the worst classic Castlevania player around, you will probably, you are like guaranteed to win this. And Dracula's dead.
Wow, that was a very quick game. So uh, thank you for coming by. Uh, nah, that's not it. That's not it. It was Richter Belmont, the legendary vampire hunter who succeeded in finally ending the menace of Count Dracula, Lord of the Vampires, who had been brought back from the grave by the Dark Priest Shaft. However, one night, four years later, under the glare of a full moon, Richter mysteriously vanished. With no idea of where to begin her search, Maria Renard set out to look for him. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, which is rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from out of the mist as if it were to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces were struggling for the soul of a man named Alucard. The very same Alucard who had teamed up with Trevor Belmont to battle his immortal father, Count Vlad Tepes Dracula. Alucard, in order to purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, had submerged his vampiric powers and entered into what was supposed to be an internal slumber. But now, he is awake and aware of the evil once again at work in his homeland. The time has come again for the forces of good and evil to engage in their ancient battle. Dracula's castle beckons for you. And no man can say who shall emerge victorious. And with that, we have the setup to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Castlevania. And we're thrown into the game. And there's the pretty boy himself. Wait, not right now. There he is. Anyways. You might notice that, uh, hmm, things have changed up a little bit. No longer are we exploring, uh, linear levels with a set pathway. No, we are now playing a true Metroidvania. Yep, Symphony of the Night is is one of the many pioneers of, along with Super Metroid, of what is now known as Metroidvania, or search action if you live in Japan. And oh my god. Listen to that music. By the way, there's a pot roast in there. Oh my god. This is such a great way to begin the game. Yes, I am aware of the glitch that allows you to keep uh, Alucard's starting wet gear, but like... I'll show that off later on. After I'm done with the game. Anyways, uh, here's an annoying cutscene. I hate this. Ah, Alucard. What is your business here? I've come to put an end to this. Still befriending mortals. I'll not ask you to return to our side, but I demand you cease your attack. I will not. You shall regret those words. We will meet again. <laughs> and death, being the bitch he is, takes away all our shit. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Uh, so unfortunately, I have to deal with uh, not being able to dash as effectively. And we are only left with our bare fists. I've always loved going through this part of the game with with just Alucard's fist, because it's just hilarious. Just punch the shit out of all these skellies. Oh yeah, and here we have our first upgrade. The Cube of Zoe. Uh, that basically, uh, I think that just displays enemy... Let me check. Oh yeah, yeah, it just... I don't know what that means. But a cute little detail I notice is that 
well, I like is that between areas, uh, the hallway there has a CD on it. You know, just to show that this is a PlayStation 1 game. Oh, for the record, yes, I am emulating this because, uh, mm, trying to, trying to stream this on original hardware is too much of a pain in the ass. Unless I wanted to spend like 300 bucks on a converter. Honestly, at that point, that's just a money issue. Ooh, if I take that leather shield. I'll be able to backdash again. Yep! There, there you have it. I'll admit that I spent way too much time practicing that. Like I said, I love going through this part of the game with just the fists because it's just, I don't know. There's just something hilar inherently hilarious about seeing Alucard square up. By the way, I said this was a Metroidvania game. And indeed, when I press the select button, a map shows up. Getting the true, e well, not the true ending, but the best ending requires you to explore all of Dracula's castle. So, you know, that's fun. You know, it, I know I don't need to really backdash everywhere, but it's just like, you know, it's just so much quicker and now I just can't stop. Plus I spent all my time, plus I spent a lot of time practicing the uh, shield cancel. I just love how Alucard controls in this game. By the way, I missed a uh, save point back there. Oops. Boom. I had to make some major compromises to the uh, to the <laughs> to the overall picture just to be able to fit it on here. So if you're annoyed by the small black bars on the top and bottom there, I'm sorry. Get over it. But you know. It's the best I could do, plus OBS wouldn't allow me to, you know, properly crop those bars out. At that point, that's just a skill issue on my part. Anyways, here we... Anyways, we're coming up onto the uh, first boss of the... Well, bosses of the game. Oh my god. It's these two fucks from Castlevania 4! Uh, you know what to do. Just punch the shit out of him. Ah, shit. Usually I don't shit... Uh, usually I don't hit, shit, hit the shitter this hard. Oh my god, am I actually gonna die to these guys? Nope! It ain't gonna happen like this. I just need to punch the shit out of this dude, and we're good. Alright, now the fight just got ten times easier. <laughs> he lost his spear and he's done. I'm sorry, it's a Castlevania game. Every time I beat the boss, I'm going to teabag the shit out of them. Ah. <laughs> I just love that everything in this fucking game explodes. Like, all the enemies just... Just... Oh my god, they come down with a case of the explosions. Alright, let's get to it. I don't think this takes me... Oh, wait, no, I think I get a weapon down here. Like, you know, okay, so, I'm gonna be honest here, I make fun of the voice acting, but I legitimately think Alucard's voice in this version of the game is legitimately badass. So 
some cool looking sunglasses. Oh yeah, now is probably a good time to mention. Uh, depending on how you do on the on the beginning fight with Richter and Dracula, uh, it determines your starting stats. So if you do really well on the on the Dracula fight, then uh, you start off with uh, harder. You start off with slightly nerfed stats. So you know. So you know, and if you do worse on the fight with Dracula, uh, you start off with better stats. So keep that in mind next time you're playing Symphony of the Night. Also, how's my mana? Eh, not nearly enough. <laughs> Wait, no, I can go back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the long way. I like getting this knife because, you know, it's not exactly the strongest, but its rate of fire is pretty damn good. Ah, nope. Yeah, I guess I gotta take the long way around. If you're annoyed by the constant backdashing noise, um, get over it. This is how I travel. It's quicker. It's more efficient. Saves time. Almost everyone I know who plays this game does that. They just backdash everywhere. Oh! Mmm! Whoa. Ah, shit. When do you learn the dive kick? Is it only after you get the double jump? Oh, come on. I love Alucard so much, I'm sad he's a, uh... I'm sad he's in assist trophy in Smash Ultimate. Should have also been in, damn it. Really? Why am I not allowed? It's that corner specifically that doesn't let me backdash. Friend of mine, uh, things name. Friend of mine, uh, Boss Pawn, says that uh, <laughs> says I've become something of a backdash maniac. <laughs> this game is so funny to me, dude. Ah, shit. No, you want to see something really wacky, watch a speedrunner play this game. I'm gonna hold on to that, uh... I'm gonna hold on to that hand thingy. I know it has a proper name, but I don't know what it's called. Alright. Let's get in. <laughs> I love doing that. And here we come to the Marble Gallery. Uh, not a lot in here. Well, there's not a lot I can get right now, so, you know. I'll have to come back here later with uh, better upgrades. And a slightly stronger a la carte. No! Go back. Oh, hey, look, I used the backdash for its intended purpose. 
Waka, 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 waka. Ah, I love the sound design in this game so much. Wait, is that a breakable wall? Yeah, you're gonna have to look out for breakable walls in this game. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> this, this has got to be so threatening to see. You just see this half vampire, half human just backdash everywhere in the fucking castle. Here's a spirit orb. I wonder what that does. Oh yeah, it just shows how much damage you do to the enemies. Not really that important, but you know, kind of cool to see just to know if uh, just to know if your attacks are effective. It's not where I'm supposed to be going right now, but uh, I got it anyways. Another level up. That's the only part I'll, uh, about Alucard's uh, depiction in Smash Brothers I'll give shit about is the fact that he's not backdashing everywhere. He has the most broken item in the game, yeah, sure, but, like, what's the point of showing that if he's not backdashing everywhere like a madman? Enemies that gave the Belmont shit are pretty much not a problem anymore with just how versatile a la carte is another cutscene you seem human and yet what do you hear i've come to destroy this castle then we have the same purpose i'll trust you for now i'm maria who are you alucard not the talkative type i can see well perhaps we'll meet again if you live that long Farewell. Oh, I will be living for that long. Because Alucard here is fucking broken, Jesus Christ. Especially later on. Wait. Ah, damn it! Not yet. <laughs> I can't do it yet. Gotta wait for uh, this fight after I'm done. After I'm done with the next boss battle. Wait, no, I need that. I need this for the next boss fight. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's just been... Oh, God! No, give me back the... Actually, no, I might need the stopwatch later. Ah, stabby, stabby. Wait, is this the one with the blue... Se yeah, that's, I can't go down here yet. Oh! Yeah, this is what the really nutty speedrunners can do with just one thumb. I I unfortunately need both my thumbs to do it. Ladies? No. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Savvy, savvy, savvy. You know, I'll never understand the angry video game nerds complained about, like, enemies taking too long to beat in this game. If you know what you're doing, uh... Oh, wow, that was a critical. If you know how to handle yourself, you can take down these enemies in, like... 
boom. Like that. By the way, this game has RPG elements. Uh, as you defeat enemies, Alucard will, will gain some experience, and after he gains enough experience, he will level up, further increasing his stats. Wait a second, I didn't remember that enemy from Rondo of Blood. Oh! Boom! God, I love I love the level up sound so much, and the little effect that goes along with it. Oh my god, no, go back! <laughs> All right, and here we go. Uh, what's uh, everything looking like? All right, grab that. By the way, uh, as as you go along your adventure in Dracula's castle, you'll pick up uh, various uh, gemstones, which you which you can then sell off for money. Come in here for a save. Waka, 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 waka. Boom. Ignore that, uh, ignore that thing you're seeing up there. Don't let, don't let Konami know I'm emulating. This boss fight could be a pain in the ass depending on how you approach it. Thankfully for you, I'm going to teach you a little cheese strat. Here we have the second boss, the doppelganger. You gonna... Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Ah! Yeah, this fight could be a little bit of a pain in the ass, depending on, like, how he, how the AI's feeling. Ah, uh, hang on, I think I'm gonna have a pop a potion. Yeah, let's just pop that potion, just in case. Better be, better be safe than sorry. Ah, uh, there we go. Got him in the stung lock. Let's put my shield back on. Get fucked, you nerd. For the record, I'm not speedrunning. I'm just going through this game as casually as possible. I'm gonna be taking that. Wait, is that a two-handed weapon? Yeah, it's good. This'll do for a little bit. Okay, yeah, I think we'll switch back to the knife since it has a... Wait, can I... Oh, I can do the thing! Oh! Soul Steel! Uh, if you have 50 MP or more, you can do, uh... You can do, uh, back and then half circle, back, forward attack button and then you do soul steal if you're starving for health and you have the mp to spare it comes in really handy you can also melt certain bosses and enemies i love doing soul steal if i'm low on health and i just don't care at the moment i just go all right it's time to end this soul steal Oh hey, look! It's those uh, it's those spear enemies I hate from Rondo of Blood. Yeah, after playing Rondo of Blood, I noticed how uh, hmm, how many sprites this game reuses. Which uh, hey, you know what? I'm not complaining. Most of the sprites in this game look really fucking good, especially a la cards. 
Anyways, now that you're in this part of the, uh, of the game. Oh god, we do sad. Oh hey look, it's those giant greatsword enemies I hate from fucking Rondo of Blood. Once again, they are a non-issue in this game because Alucard is a badass motherfucker. Anyways, come up here, hit this a few times, and you got the elevator working again. Uh, is there anything up here? I think there might be a health pickup. Oh, it's the book. It's the book I never got to show off from uh, Rondo of Blood. <laughs> uh, I'm embarrassed. I don't know how much I'll get done in this game, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how much I get done. Ah! Almost got hit by the gold Medusa head. Because, uh... <laughs> I don't like Medusa heads in this game. Ah! Soul Steel! Like I said, Soul Steel always comes in handy when you need a little health pickup. Ah, now that we have the elevator open, we can get the Soul of Wolf, which, uh... Oh god, turns Alucard into a furry. This. Yep, I can. And then I get a max life up. Wait, does the thing work? Ah, oh, no, it doesn't. Nah, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Wait, can I get up there if I... Oh, hang on. Yep, there we go. Okay, I can probably... Alright, this is the one instance of sequence breaking that I'm actually going to try. If I can't get it in a few attempts, then I'll, uh, I'll just give up. Hang on. Alright, hang on. Let me just get over here. Oh, hey, look, it's that one attack that Dracula loves to spam and fights. And of course, there's nothing in here. Why would there be anything in there? There we go. Okay, okay, I, I got it now. I think I got the timing down for this. I can't go there yet because I don't have the fucking shit. Ugh. Oh, oh. Anyways, uh, come over here, look through here. After I'm done, uh, what's what part of the castle is this again? The outer wall. Usually after I'm done with it here with the outer wall, I like to go to the uh, underground waterway. But I want to try something first before I think about doing that. By the way, where's the nearest save room? That's up there. Yeah, I think I'm going to try that out first. Do that. Uh, actually... Soul Steel! 
Ah. Good old Soul Steel. No, okay, so I forgot. To, not only does it, not only does Soul Steel steal from enemies, it also steals from candles and other projectiles. So, uh, if you're in a room with a bunch of uh, baddies and they can just keep shooty shooty bang banging you, uh, hit them with the Soul Steel, assuming you have the MP to spare. Actually, let's let's hit the library first. Yeah, let's go hit the library first. Get some stuff from the library. Uh, did the music reset? Yeah, it's, it, it did. Hit that dude! Alright, come over here. Anyways, here we have the Long Library, and Long is definitely correct. This place feels like it goes on forever. Also home to some of the more annoying enemies in the game. But we're not at the... Clock Tower. What? Hang on. Let me get that uncurse. Let me just... Oh yeah, that's the good shit. Soul Steel! You know, I love Soma. Probably my favorite protagonist in Castlevania, but... Does he get Soul Steel? No. That is, a, that is only reserved for our resident badass, Alucard. Oh! I thought I was doing something cute and f Uh... Hold on, what's my... Hang on, hang on, hang on, I can do this, I can do this trick. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna give it one more attempt and then I'll fuck off. What? Oh! Yeah, 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 I get the- Okay, yeah, yeah, I get what you're trying to say here. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't let a guy have some fun, why don't you? Okay, so the first thing you should obviously buy is the Jewel of Open. And then you should go and grab, uh... You should definitely go grab, uh... Mm, the castle map. You know, just to be safe. Thank you. Also, uh, hang on. I'm correct, there should be a way to do the item duplication glitch. Let me just look it up really quickly. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Uh, 
Uh, oh, fuck me. Yeah, screw that. I just remembered. Oh, dear. <laughs> that is a long process, and I don't want to... I don't want to memorize that shit. It's not as fun as, say, the infinite item glitch in uh, FF7. You do that, you never have to worry about elixirs. Oh, come on! Alright, fine. You get your soul stolen. Alright, let's see if I can do it properly this time. If not, I'm gonna go sequence break that uh, area I was talking about earlier. Oh! Oh my god! I did it! <laughs> oh, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. I, I thought I was being funny by sequence breaking, by doing a sequence break. Ah, uh, let's give it a one more try. That I got skill issued by that fucking, that fucking plan over there. Jesus Christ. All right. This time I won't get skill issued. I'm probably severely under level for this, but whatever. It's gonna be hilarious. Yep, I think I I made a big mistake. Thankfully, my trusty dandy soul steel will save me. Or I could just do this. <laughs> Wait, Takemitsu? What does that do? Ah, it's a two-handed weapon. Never mind. I don't even have the double jump. I'm not supposed to be down here yet. Jeez. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be down here yet. But hey, at least I know I can get here. I'm not supposed to be here now. I'm not supposed to be here right now, but uh, I think this is still hilarious. You haven't played a Metroidvania unless you learned how to sequence break. Alright, leveled up. Leveled up in the middle of a boss fight. That's fun. Like I said, I'm way, I'm here way earlier than intended. All right, well, doesn't matter. I defeated this boss. Do I need the double jump? Do I actually need the double jump? Nah, I don't need it. Wait, I need the min. God damn it! I sequence broke too early. Yeah, that's right. I need the mi I sequence broke too early. Ugh. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I think I. Mm, I think I'm gonna need to reset the game. Hold on, give me a moment. Unless I. Yeah, yeah, hmm. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to reset the game. Hold on a moment! Uh, 
Uh, hang on. <laughs> I sequence broke the game, but, uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I love that there's a little cheat list uh, icon here, and it's just a fucking, uh, it's just a fucking, uh, sad face. <laughs> Alright, let me just reset the... Alright, we're back. <laughs> yeah, I sequence broke the game, and then, uh... I sequence broke the game, and then I realized, oh fuck, I don't have the right upgrade. <laughs> I don't have the right upgrade anyways, so, uh, oops. But at least I know I can do it now. I accidentally broke- I accidentally sequence broke the game and <laughs> then the game punished me for it. Whoops. Well, that's ten minutes down the drain, but at least I know I can do it now. Anyways, let's go, uh, explore those new areas we unlock legitimately. By the way, you can get library cards which instantly- which instantly teleport you back to the library. Uh. Ow. Can't be the only one who does that, right? And here we have the fairy scroll, which just displays enemy names. Hang on. Soul Steel! I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna say it every time he does it. By the way, uh, by the way, Alucard can strike diagonally with swords if you didn't, if you haven't figured that part out already. Not all sequence breaking is good, kids. You gotta learn when to properly do it. Also, I'm not a super speedrunner, so I don't know any, like, the momentum tricks. All right, I'm going to try one more sequence break. Well, uh, now I know what not to do. Right, that'll take me, yeah, back there. Wait a second. Uh, oh yeah, there's a teleporter over there. But I'm gonna go this way anyways, since it's quicker. You know, I was originally gonna play Aria of Sorrow in place of Symphony of the Night, but then I played Symphony of the Night again and I was like, nah, this would make better content. Plus, I know Symphony. Plus, Symphony of the Night was easier to learn. Boom. Hang on. What? Some linguistics major is gonna give me major shit for pronouncing that wrong. Diplo fall? I don't know. There we go. Hold on. Ah, damn it. Okay, I seem to have lost the magic touch. There we go. Just need to let the wolf hop up a bit. Anyways, come over here. 
with that jewel of opening, we can now open up uh, doors with that blue mark on it. And then we hit that big red button, I mean big gray button. And we can access some new, uh, some new pathways. So that's pretty cool. Like down here. Anyways, like I said, the library card will take you back to the librarian. So only use that if you really need to visit him again. Oh! Yeah, that was a, that was an embarrassment. <laughs> Me sequence breaking the game and then realizing, oh fuck, I broke it. <laughs> I know that's the point, but like, you know, uh, I, I I soft locked myself. Anyways, onwards to the underground caverns. I usually like to play, visit this place second. Oh. Uh! Oh, okay. Why was I struggling to get Soul Steel working? There was a save point literally right there. Ooh. I don't know if the uh, special inputs are contact sensitive, but. You know. Like, I don't know if they change depending on which direction you're facing, but... Mm, let's not worry about that. Come over here, there's another save room. Boom. Actually, where's that big... Is that blip big room with the... I know where it is. Anyways, let's come over here for another boss fight. Well, more like a mini boss fight for now. Ooh. Ooh. Once again, it just blows up. Actually, uh, also, this is how I learned that vampires are weak to running water, because uh, if you stay in water for too long, uh, Alucard will take damage. Which is pretty funny, to think about. Ooh, that was almost bad. Anyways, you come over here and we have another boss fight. Hang on. Not yet. I'm trying to fight this thing legitimately, but you know what? I'm just gonna go for the classic cheese strat. Ye old cheese strats. Ugh. Uh. Alright, hang on, let me just take some damage. Get back here. Ah, wait, no, I'm... Fuck. Well, that's the first game over. Really should go get some armor. Here's the thing that's kind of lame about this game. Yeah, that's the one thing I think is kind of lame about this game, is that whenever you die, you gotta go back to the title screen. Select your save file, then you gotta wait. Thankfully, I'm in an emulator, so these things, you know, don't take as long. But still annoying if you're playing on, say, original hardware. Alright, 
All right, I'm gonna try not to get skill issued again. I have sub weapons. I should use them more. Although, given how powerful Alucard already is, just naturally, part of me just says, "Ah, eh, you don't need them." Yeah, see, like that. Now I just do this. Uh... Yeah, there's a pot roast over here, right? Yeah, there's a pot roast. I haven't used that first pot roast uh, from the beginning, have I? for defense up. Alright, there we go. That's the funny. <laughs> wait, wait. What the fuck happened? Was it, was it the soul steal at the beginning that kind of redeemed that one? Oh well, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. I have the I have the crystal cloak now. Which gives me seven defense. Anyways, now that I defeated that boss, it's onwards to the rest of the underground cavern. Ah, load times! There we go. Ah, I seem to have lost it. The magic timing. Actually, let's go save just in case more shenanigans and tomfoolery happens. <laughs> there we go. Castlevania from, uh... <laughs> I, I can't do the joke. Ooh, another health up. Love to find those around. Ooh. I can't wait until I get the Crystal Grim. the double jump right now. I should have gone, gone to grab that first. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Bye-bye. God, if Alucard got into Smash Brothers, they'd have to nerf the shit out of him. Ooh. What's up here? Ooh. Oh, that's another sub weapon that's really fucking cool is the uh, holy water. Ooh. 
And then we get maximum hearts. Although I think... Of, um, yeah! This wall is breakable, and then you can come over here and you get the bandana. Uh, where's the... Gives us one more point of defense, which is pretty fucking good. Alright, I should be able to survive more of the counters up ahead, so let's get a move on. Toadstool. My, my country, they're called peaches. Huh? Huh? Nah. Anyways, uh, it seems like Alucard's not the only one who's weak to running water. Oh, we'll solve that weakness soon. Oh no. Careful. There we go. Don't worry about this uh, bridge just yet, yet. You'll figure out what it's for later. Ooh, what is that noise? Ah, it's the waterfall. Ah, nope, not today. Oh, the Frozen Shades. I think they drop, uh, Frost Brands? Yeah. They, they drop an elemental weapon, which is pretty damn rare. It's not like I'm going to be worrying about that anytime soon. Anyways, here's the Ferryman. I'll take you to a place which might be interesting for you. <laughs> God, I hate that voice. <sighs> I hate everything that's fun. Oh, steal! Oh, wait, no, come back! Don't leave me behind! Oh, my God. <laughs> Why do you stand... Why do you just stand still? What do you soul steal? Jesus Christ! Come over here and you get the merman statue. Anyways, uh, oh shit, yeah, there's no way back up there. Oh, fuck! Dancing a la carte. Oh shit. Anyways, uh... Mm. <clears throat> if you want to know how, how fast a la carte actually runs, this is it. And now you know why me and several other people backdash everywhere like this. Oh! By the way, if you play on uh, maximum luck mode, uh, <laughs> it gets even sillier. I didn't, I didn't do that for any particular reason. I just wanted to show off. Oh! You know, uh, I was watching Shiori. 
was watching Shioden stream uh, singing Smash Brothers last night, and I, throughout that entire thing, I was just like, I just had my hands, I just had my head in my palms, and I was just like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? <laughs> I was, yeah, I was just like, what the fuck, girl? <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you? Like, oh my god. That, that girl is... Oh my god. She is actually unhinged. Like, I hate to say it, but... I, I don't think I can support her anymore after this shit. Jesus Christ, man. She is... Ugh, she is a mess. And I don't mean that affectionately. I, I mean that I mean that in the most derogatory way possible. Holy fuck. Ah! But for whatever reason, I see the red flags and I just think to myself, God damn, full steam ahead. I'm going in. <laughs> We're going all out, baby. Ah, damn it. I can fix her. <laughs> I can fix her. <laughs> See, when it comes to those kind of, uh, people... There's two mindsets you can take. Either I can fix her, or I can make her worse. <laughs> There's also the third camp that goes, I could fix her, but whatever is wrong with her is way hotter. New cutscene. So, we meet again, Alucard. It seems so. As friendly as ever, I see. It's strange. This castle is different than I remember it. This castle is a creature of chaos. It may take many incarnations. AKA more sequels. So I can't trust my memories, huh? Oh well, I'll do my best. Good luck. Anyways. <clears throat> but yeah, uh many people like to joke that anyways, we're in the royal chapel. But anyways, people like to joke that that line is basically Alucard saying that, yeah, as long as we can keep finding ways to make this castle feel new, we'll, we'll keep pumping out sequels. Although seeing as they haven't made a new Castlevania game since Order of Ecclesia, or Harmony of Despair? Yeah, Harmony of Despair. Since Harmony of Despair... Mm, mm, fuck you, Konami. Oof. Ballroom mask, what does that do? Check the item description. Oh! Ah, it just keeps all my stats the same, whatever. Oh god, here we go. Haha, -ha, you thought you'd get me this time, jackass. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, I can come up here. Wait, oh wait. Ah, fuck! Oh, I'll come grab it later.
Wait, is that a teleporter or is that a new area? I think this might be a teleporter. Nope, new area. Ooh, but I get the night shield. I actually kind of use... I like using this. But yeah. Ah, uh, you know, a lot of shit's been happening, so, you know. No, oh, I can't move this yet. Darn you. By the way, one of my friends became a hamburger VTuber. You'll you'll see him around eventually. By the way, if you sit down here, uh, a priest will come talk to you. Unfortunately, he'll attack you after a while, so uh, don't sit don't sit in that chair for too long. I had forty pizzas in the last thirty days. I've had four. You know, I'm losing control of my life. I've had 40 pizzas. I've had 30 pizzas in the last 40 days. <laughs> that fucking man was wild. Alright, hang on. Let me just... I don't want to deal with this shit right now. Soul Steel! Soul Steel! Remember, kids, if you're having problems in your life, soul steal! There we go. The one time knockback in Castlevania actually helped me out. Life up! Kill him with kindness. Wrong! Soul steal! What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know why, but I like that meme of just like, kill him with kindness. Wrong! Curse of Raw! You can apply it to so many different situations. Nah, don't kill him with kindness. Hydro Storm! I think it's boss time? Yeah, it's boss time. I'm going to end this boss and it's the Hippogriff. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty much gonna destroy this fight. Oh, screw this. All right, there we go. Impressive. You're very strong. What is it you want? You didn't come here to tell me that. You're right. Do you know the name Richter Belmont? Of the Belmont clan? Of course, but... I appreciate the little Trevor sprite. He disappeared about a year ago, and I'm sure he's here. If you see him, please let me know. As you wish, my lady. Thank you. So, you do know how to be a gentleman. Ooh, that is... Hmm. Some shade thrown at Alucard right there. <laughs> oh, 
Well, you know, at least Alucard isn't, uh, you know... At least he isn't a dick, unlike his father. Yeah, what kind of asshole just resurrects himself every century? Just to plunge the world into darkness. You'd have to be a complete dick to do that, dude. Plus, pretty bored. Oh yeah, also, uh, go look up artwork of, uh, of Alucard in, uh, in Castlevania 3, and, uh, then look at him in Symphony of the Night. It's, uh, it's a difference, alright? It is definitely a difference. Although, I'd say it's for the better. Alucard is way more badass here. Well, you know, I've gotten this, uh, I've gotten this dash cancel pr down pat, so, you know. <laughs> By next year, you'll be seeing me do Symphony of the Night speedruns. I joke, but then I realize, oh shit, I'm actually probably crazy enough to attempt it. Oh, it's these assholes. Oh, I also hated them in Rondo of Blood. I'm noticing a trend here where enemies that gave me shit in previous Castlevania games just go down like complete punks. Because once again, Alucard is just that much of a badass. And with that, I finally get my, my favorite upgrade to get in literally any game ever. The double jump. Oh my god, let me just do the dive kick. God, I love doing that. Oh, I love the dive kick. It's completely useless, and I will never use it pretty much ever unless I'm actually trying to break the game, but like, good god almighty. It, it's so fun to do. Key on the wall, where will you take me? Oh, you're gonna take me back to the castle entry. Actually, this is actually where I kinda needed to go. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, that way! Uh, let's see. Well, I pretty much explored everything I can in the chapel, so, you know. Right now, for right now at least. I guess I have to go back to the marble book. Well, this is the alchemy lab, right? Yeah, this is the alchemy lab. You're going to be seeing me come back here a lot during this first part. Alright, up we go. Let's go. My god, I am getting really good at that, and I'm starting to get concerned. Man, if I could do this, how come I can't learn the backwards long jump? <sighs> One day I will learn how to BLJ.
Huh. Alright, now I can start actually doing funny shit. You started Xeno Gears yet? Not yet, because I'm still going through Sea of Stars. I know I'm I know I'm missing out on peak fiction. After I do Sea of Stars, uh, I'm gonna. It'll actually probably be a while before I get to Xeno Gears because uh, next week is both. Uh, yeah, this, for some reason October is just packed with shit. Like next week you got Sonic, you got Sonic Superstars, and you got Marvel's Spider-Man Two. And I'm just like, man, I'm gonna be a busy bee. Oh god, that is creepy. When you start, don't watch the opening cutscene, it's a spoil. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ, why is why is October just packed? Okay, my hand's actually starting to <laughs> I'm serious, don't. Hold on, I'm starting to Gotta knock at the door. Hang on. Uh, idle meeting. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Anyways, sorry about that. Uh, was rudely interrupted by a light bulb going out, so I had to fix that really quickly. Anyways, where was I going? All right, this way. Ah! I don't know, man. Alucard is just so much fun in this game. There we go. Ooh, I like this weapon. Alright, now let's just come over here. Get this thing unlocked. Alright, now let's go back. You know, didn't Callie say she wanted to play Castlevania Symphony of the Night one time? Yeah. I mean, they have perms for Metal Gear now, so maybe in the future? I knew they had... I know Ririka, you know, she wanted to play Castlevania. Although she got the advanced collection on stream. I hope she plays Aria of Sorrow. That's a really good game. Although if I if you had to if you pointed a gun at my head and said, okay, choose between Aria of Sorrow and Symphony of the Night, I'd say shoot me. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna choose between these two. Yes, they're both Metroidvania games, but like they they do completely different things. Like they're not even comparable. Actually, no, they are comparable. But at the end of the day, they're trying to do two different things. I believe they're waiting on the MGS collection before starting. Well, I mean... Takoro's already played the games. I mean, I already have... Uh, I mean, I already have... I can play Metal Gear Solid 2, 2 and 3 and Portable Ops because of, you know, the old HD collection on... Uh, on the Xbox 360 and PS3, so... I should probably get on that. Alright, I'm gonna do one more area. Alright, I'm gonna do one more area in this game, then I'm gonna call it a night. Wait a second, how the fuck has Reimu been playing the original Metal Gear Solid? Does she have a PS3 with PSN? Soul Steel! Ooh, I can go this way already. I'll hold off on that for now. Oh my god! Holy water go crazy! Don't worry about that, uh, don't worry about that attack that that big dude, uh, does when he dies. It won't actually hurt you. And you can't go up there yet. Because, yeah, I don't have the bat upgrade. I don't have the soul of bat yet. But I can go here. They're only allowed to play on hardware because Japan hates emulators for whatever reason. Oh, uh, don't let Konami know I'm playing on an emulator right now. <laughs> Hey, Konami, if it makes you feel any better, I have a physical version of this game on PS1, so get off my ass. 
Uncle Dude Sauce here can can testify that yes, I indeed bought a PS1 original copy for this. Plus, I don't feel bad about emulating games that I already own physically. Have I only been streaming for about an hour and a half? Jesus Christ. Feels like I've been going on longer. Ooh. Like I said, I don't feel bad about emulating games that I already own. Or if it's a game I literally cannot get anywhere outside of Japan. Or if it's a game that I literally cannot find anywhere else. Like, like Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance, and Radiant Dawn. Oh my god. This is my favorite song in the entire game. I'm gonna shut up now. Ah, damn it, I shut up too early. Alright, now I'm gonna shut up. Oh my god, I love this song so much. The Coliseum probably has my favorite theme in the entire game. Like, not even joking. It's not even close. Oh my god, I love this song so much. Alright, I think I'm going to clear up the uh, Coliseum and then I'm going to save everything else for next time. Oh god. This room, this room can bite my... And kiss my ass. Oh god. And if you clear out this room, you get the ever broken shield rod, which uh hmm. I will definitely show off what the shield rod can do. But just know this. 
If you combine the shield rod with any shield in the game, you get a special effect. Combine this with the Alucard shield and, uh... Well... I'll show that off later. I got you. Oh. Oh yeah, a little cute detail. I love how the bird tamer knight dude just uh, you know. If you kill his bird early, if you kill his bird first, he gets a little sad. He becomes a sad boy and then he gets angry with you because you just, because god damn it, you just killed his bird. And if you kill the night dude first, then the bird gets really mad and attacks you. Dong Dong never die. I don't believe you. I will look this up later. Oh my god. Enjoy the music variety while it lasts. Oh, enjoy the music variety while it lasts. And in here we have... Who are you? Open Hell's Gate. Come forth, my servants. The scent of your blood. You're a Belmont. Crush this flea who invades my castle. <laughs> ah, shit. Richter's gone evil. Anyways, here's the werewolf and minotaur. It's a pretty easy fight, all things considered. And once again, I recognize these sprites from, uh... I recognize these sprites from, uh... Ah, fuck! Well, there's another death to add to the list. Skill issued because I didn't have enough magic to do soul steal. Which trivializes any fight. <laughs> That's two deaths, count it two. There will be no, be no more after this point. Oh my god, I've already explored over 50% of the castle. Jeez, this go this 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 game goes. Did I get the shield rod? Oof. Hang on, I'm gonna go grab the shield rod again. Oh my god. Soul Steel! Alright, let me just grab that, and then I'll get the hell out of here. Bye bye! Why did I think I could just blindly charge in at the Minotaur? Plate Lord. Oh, Alanite. Damn, old man still got hands. Oh, come on. 
All right, I'm out of here. Bye bye. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the save room, just so I don't lose the progress again. And so I have full magic when I go into the fight. Because, uh, I got skill issued. I guess I'll open up this again. What was this? I'll keep the axe. All right, now we're going to have to go back up uh, here. Okay. All right, it's time. All right, that's uh, the werewolf down. Now I just have to take down the minotaur. Ah! Hang on, let me just uh, pop a, let me just pop a pop rose really quickly. Thank you for waiting. Back to the ass kicking. There we go. That's how you do it. Even their death animations are the same from Rondo of Blood. I'm certain that was a Belmont. So he says he's the lord of this castle. All right, one more level up down. I swear, I usually have more health than this at this point, but oh well, we'll worry about that later. Anyways, come over here and you get the form of mist, which allows you to pass through these iron bars, which is very helpful. It's also the upgraded I needed in order to get to, in order to get the form of bat, in order to get the soul of bat, which uh, I tried sequence breaking into. Then I realized I'm a humongous Pepega. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! I still haven't figured out what Dark Metamorphosis does. I think it buffs up Alucard's stats temporarily. Either that or it actually makes him a vampire and he starts sucking blood. God, I love this area. It's so funky. Anyways, I said that I would, uh, <laughs> that I would be finished after the Colosseum. Well, I lied. I'm going to do one more thing first. I want to finish up things in the underground cavern. Actually, uh, wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, that way. Bye-bye. God, the Coliseum's just such a good fucking theme. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to the, uh... I'm gonna go back to the uh, underground cavern really quickly just to just to finish up things down there because I still need to get an upgrade down there. Oh. 
By the way, if you come up here, you get the, uh... Not the a la carte shield, the a la carte shield. It's, uh... These are the gag weapons of the game. They're, uh... They're not useful at all. Don't use them. Yeah, down here. How's the stream looking? How's the stream look, by the way? Do we have any skipped frames? Any uh, technical problems? Any issues in general? Oh my god, stop it. Alucard, stop doing the fucking... There we go. Anyways, uh, I probably should have done this earlier, but eh, whatever. Anyways, you'll notice that this part is, uh, hmm, looks a little sus. So, uh, just hit that part of the... Come over here. I'll guide you to meet your destiny. This ferryman will take you over here to another upgrade. taking a while. Anyways, go over here and you get the, uh, you get a funny item. Come over here, you get a funny item. You get the holy symbol, which allows you to, which allows, uh, Alucard to survive underwater. I don't know how it works either, just go with it. So Alucard needs a uh, snorkel in order to uh, survive underwater. That's... that's depressing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna get to a save point and then I'm gonna end it off right there. And then uh, next time we will uh, figure out what the heck's going on with Richter Belmont. So let me just find my way to a save point. Oh yeah, I can grab this. Knuckle Duster. Resembles Family Shield and it does jack shit. <laughs> this is a Knuckle Duster. Eh, it could be. Nope. Oh. All right, let's uh, let's find a C point and then I'll end it off. Oh, right there. All right, now that we've saved, I think I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the loading screen and then we will uh, and then we'll end off for the night. All right, that's going to be it for me. Uh, we did a, we actually got a lot done, uh, this part. I just got a lot done uh, here in... S we actually got a lot done. Uh, I, we actually got a lot done tonight. You know, we got a lot of upgrades, explored a lot of parts, uh, discovered that you can't sequence break. Uh, discovered you can't sequence break certain parts of the game. Oh, dear. <laughs> Or if you do sequence break, uh, make sure you have, make sure you actually have the right fucking equipment for the job. Otherwise, you're gonna, 
Mm. Make things a little... Otherwise, uh, you're going to make things a little uh, awkward and then you'll soft lock yourself. But either way, that's all I can really say. Uh, I guess what I want to say right now is uh, thank you all for coming by. If you're new, definitely give a follow. Uh, if I get two more followers, I will do a I'll do a Shadow the Hedgehog stream because I love you guys because you hate me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, have yourselves a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Uh, take care of yourselves, have fun out there, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye!